Surveillance video shows thieves leaving one of these businesses. They got away with cash and caused major damage. The two restaurants are located in a strip mall with several businesses between them that were not burglarized. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Highland with more. Shelby. Yes, yeah, Share Sam, this is the shopping center on Palm Avenue here in Highland where it all happened. You can even see right behind me, one of the businesses has a boarded up door. That's after those thieves smashed through their glass. Now, I did speak with the owners. They say it's so frustrating despite the fact that they have insurance to help cover the costs. They say this is their livelihood. It's how they pay to help feed their families. And for someone to do this to their business, it's just wrong. Boarded up windows and shattered glass. I got a phone call around 8 in the morning saying uh, from my mom. This time I, my heart sank and then she, she said, hey, we got robbed. Two Asian-owned restaurants in the same Highland strip mall targeted by thieves. Surveillance video captures both of them climbing out of restaurant Thai Spoon. The first person carrying two bags in their hands. They take a cash register and they broke out in the main office to get on the whatever they have inside. This door is a broken. Paul Thongfinith showed us the damage to his restaurant. He says about $600 was stolen at around 4.30 Sunday morning. Moments after that, the thieves headed seven doors down to Pha Tien Thi Vietnamese restaurant. They came in and smashed the door and they stole money or they stole money from the cash register and just like messed up our file stuff that we had around $600 worth of change. They took a couple of cell phones that we used for uh, takeout orders. Ronald Pham says they had to close all of Sunday just to figure out what to do next. It's the first time in his family's six years of being there they've been targeted. For Thong Fenith, it isn't the first time, but it is one of the worst. The San Bernardino County Sheriff now investigating and could only provide a description, saying the two people wore white hooded sweatshirts and masks. The incident now has both business owners considering more security cameras and adding steel doors. What goes through your mind seeing that your family restaurant had been ransacked? What goes through my mind? Oh, first, I'm glad that no one got hurt, you know, but also sometimes like, man, like um, what now I have to think of like, what can we do to prevent future break ins and things like that? And yeah, just got to be more prepared, I guess. So, Shelby, do authorities believe that this may have been a hate crime because both businesses were Asian American owned? Yeah, sure. That's one of the biggest questions, right, that arises because of the restaurants that are Asian owned. But just to give you some context that there are several restaurants in between. You've got a taco spot, you've got a ramen spot. So it's really unclear if they were targeted specifically or the, if these thieves, if this was just random for them. Now, I spoke with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. I asked them that same question and they say they do not believe this was a hate crime.